most of us find it more important to charge up our phone every night rather than charging up our spirit. What's up, froze? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing loneliness, which stems off of my first video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. This topic is especially necessary in this time period that we're living in. For the most part, majority of us are stuck in our houses. And if you're anything like me, that has taken a toll on you. Through this video, I basically want to give you a different outlook on your season of loneliness and how you should view that. I want to start by saying the devil is a liar. The devil's main goal is to steal, kill, and destroy you. In Acts 13.10, it says, The enemy is full of deceit and trickery. It also says that the devil perverts the right ways of the Lord. When I talk about perversion or when I say that the devil perverts something, it means that the devil takes what God intended for good and what he created for good and he turns it into something twisted. And we see a lot of examples of that in our daily lives. Some may be more woke than others to it, but one example I could think of that gives you a direct picture of the devil's perversion would be sex. I don't know what you've been taught, but God created sex for good. God created sex for married partners to join and become one flesh, and he also created it for these married couples to procreate. And we see how the devil has twisted sexuality as we see people fall under sins of fornication, homosexuality, adultery, etc, etc, etc. I say all this to introduce the idea that God created loneliness and time alone from people and other things so that you could use that time to get closer to him, so you could use that time to work on your purpose, to use that time to glorify glorify him, to worship him, to pray. But the devil has perverted that into being something negative, something depressing, and something that people just constantly complain about. In multiple accounts in the Bible, you'll see this season that I'm talking about being referred to as the wilderness experience. And when it is mentioned, it also says that these people were led by God or led by the Holy Spirit into these wilderness experiences to test their faith and to prepare them for the promises that God has for them. We see many times in the Bible, I'm talking the New Testament, where Jesus actually secludes himself. He separates himself from all things and he goes up onto a mountain so that he could have time with God because he knows God is his power source. He knew how important it was to have that one-on-one -on -one time with God without anybody around. If you read through Exodus, you would see how the people turned to different idols when they felt astray. Whereas if you turn to Matthew, you would see how Jesus overcame and he stood firm on the truth that he had in his heart because of the word of God when he was placed in the wilderness. Just like I mentioned in the last video, it's so easy for us to mindlessly make things an idol to us. So when we are feeling lonely, when we are feeling like we're isolated, we often turn to things like TV, Netflix, we turn to entertainment, we turn to music, we turn to people, whether that be hitting up your ex, hitting up your next, you turn to pornography, which is you idolizing your own body. These are all idols that we create, that we think will recharge us or give us what we need or fill up the void that we're feeling, but in actuality, it's really not, and it's actually emptying us. The only way to fill up these voids are with God. The good news is the Word of God says that when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for joy. So take joy in this season that you're feeling lonely in. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And I just want to finish by reading my devotional of the day. It kind of went hand in hand with the topic today. So let me just grab that. When you seek God with all your heart, you'll find him. Stop looking for everyone to solve your problems. Stop looking for everyone to give you answers to the questions you desire. Stop looking for just anyone to fill those voids that you're feeling. God is the problem solver. God holds every answer to every question that you could think of. God wants to fill those voids with his spirit so that you will feel complete. God wants amazing things for your life. God's plans are not your plans or his thoughts your thoughts. When you aren't feeling loved, seek God. When you aren't feeling worthy, seek God. When there's no one to talk to, seek 
God. When you think no one will understand, seek God. When you're having a bad day, seek God. When you're having an awesome day, seek God. During the trials, seek God. During the triumph, seek God. Your ultimate daily goal should be to seek God with all your heart. Stay steadfast and immovable and allow God to show you his will for your life according to his riches in glory. Amen. Oh, the devotional I'm reading from is called In God's Present, a daily devotional by Bridget Marie. It's a really good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and especially subscribe so you don't miss out on this singleness series. And I'm going to just catch you in the next one. Woo!